So we just finished doing the nighttime chores with the meat birds, getting them moved, getting their waters filled, and getting their feeders filled for the night. Um, just to kind of prepare for tomorrow because we are about to surprise the kids with um, some news that we're taking a day trip over to the beach. Um, we have lived here for over 11 years now and um, we've never taken a trip to any of the Carolina beaches. So we've always been kind of like mountain goers. Like we go to the mountains and just um, go hiking or spend the day there, um, hang out, whatever, eat lunch, just drive sometimes, take a big loop trail for several hours and just just to get away and um, have a good time. So um, we are going to surprise the kids here in just a minute. So hang on. Thank you, baby. Not yet. Ooh. Now can you see? Big we time. We can see perfect. Big time. All right, so we have some news to tell you. What do you think it is? Your <laughs> No. <laughs> you want to tell him or you want me to tell him? You can. We are getting up super early tomorrow morning. Three o'clock in the morning, we're leaving. So we got to get up at two o'clock. We are headed to the beach. Wait, for a day trip. I heard you. <laughs> yeah, she's eavesdropped. <laughs> are you taking like, me to the beach? Because I can wake up early too. Um, can you wake me up? Like, we're trying to beach, and I was like, wait. Yeah, 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 y
I'm really liking the design and the ease of moving the other newer chicken tractor that we got. It is a lot lighter. We don't have it completely finished because we have to put um, a couple of holes at the one end and tie a rope to it so we can just kind of pick it up and move it. We've just been kind of grabbing at the end and picking up and moving with two people. So until we get that done, which um, we didn't have any time until um, this weekend. So we'll probably do that this weekend and get the rope attached to it. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot easier to move it and I'm happy with it. It took longer to make, I think, maybe total timing um, than making that one right over there. Um, but I'm liking this one a lot better. A lot better. So I think this is the one that we're going to try and um, duplicate again and make another one. So, all right. How are we going to move this one? The big one. I don't think so. I yeah, actually think we can move them this way. Maybe. So you've already got their water done? Okay. So this hasn't been rinsed out, right? How are their waters? Um, yeah. <laughs> up, boys? Okay. We do try to do, you know, make sure that their containers of water are clean. So this one just happened to get some algae buildup in it. So it's looking pretty gross, and I don't want my birds drinking from nasty containers. It drives me crazy when I see mold or mildew building up. Not mold, but mildew. I'm sorry. Or algae. Yes, algae building up in there. So I don't like it when they're drinking from any containers that have algae in it. We try to avoid that. Um, so we try to make time to clean them out, and because it's a priority, it's their health that we're looking at here. We want healthy birds, and we try to make it a point to give our laying chickens. We've been giving them diet to make birth um, on a regular basis, on more of a regimen, more of a schedule, because it's helpful for um, cutting down on infestations with parasites. Uh, and what it does with the parasites is it actually will cut the outer, the outer shell, the exterior shell, and um, causes the parasite to become dehydrated and they die. Sure. So it's just a nice, if you get the food grade, which is what we use, we don't use the non-food grade, you don't want to use that. Um, you want to use a food grade diatomaceous earth. And that diatomaceous earth is just a nice beneficial thing to have on the farm for your homestead, multiple purposes. You can use it in the garden too. 
but I mean, that's just one of the reasons why we keep it here for our animals. And we have used it on our garden before in the past as well. So, um, all right, let's get these guys moved, and then we'll put their waters and their feeders in. Did you hear that? That was not what it sounded like, but okay. That's how a homey sounded like. This is so easy to move. Have I mentioned that? So, it's been a long day, y'all. I am ready to eat some dinner, get a shower, wash all this salt water off my body and my hair, and get some rest. I am looking forward to that, most certainly. So, thank you guys for being a part of our day, and looking forward to See you guys next time.